Uh, thanks a lot for being here. No problem. Um, so you are a person that graduated from music college here in the UK. Yeah. Um, so I'd like to ask you a couple of questions sure. now that you're in the real world. Yeah. So uh, first of all, do you think that being exceptional in music skills is enough to survive in um, in the world of the music business in the 21st century? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I, I don't really think that that was ever the case. I think it's a combination of a lot of things. Uh, I think being good at what you do at your craft is very important uh, but also there's things like people skills because you know music is a team thing you work with people you, you try to connect with people so um, you need to be able to do that unless you're a genius and you get somebody to discover you and then they kind of do all that for you do you think that's often say that again do you think that's often I don't think that happens often no not at all um, and then yeah definitely so it's, it's not just that you need to be good with people to be clever Business oriented, and it's really hard when you when you when you deal with terms like that with a musician, because a musician is highly unlikely to be interested in that, because you know we just want to make music and let other people take care of that. All right, so you graduated from music college. Yeah, my Leeds question college is, music, yeah. okay, great. Yeah. So my question is, how well prepared are you to face the digital age and the music business now after the college? I mean, we did. Uh, have some lectures and stuff in college about the music industry and we, we spoke with some A&R guys but it, you know the gravity was was kind of given on developing our crafts as musicians um, and you know I mean especially with the internet and the, the digital age things change so quickly uh, with distribution of music and advertisement and promotion that it's hard, it's, it's almost like you're on a horse but there's somebody faster than you all the time you know you, you can't catch up so yeah you kind of feel a bit lost sometimes, but you know, I'm trying my best to catch up with everything. Okay, so w what are your biggest struggles as a musician right now? I suppose funding my pro my projects, that's the, like fun funding my, my band, and I mean, it's hard, it's hard getting funding or getting paid for original material, unless you're kind of uh, a big <coughs> commercial kind of force, which in that case, there's other things involved, and it's not just music, it's other things as well. So that, that would be the, the biggest problem. If I had to name one. All right. So um, my my last question that come uh, pops up is that um, you know that you don't need labels anymore. It's not really necessary to be in a label to succeed and That's make a true. career as yeah. a as a musician. So do you think you you're you're well prepared to to take that path? The the alternative path to music label. Yeah. Uh, I think I mean you know there's a lot of people like yourself who do a lot of work in informing people about that. So. I definitely think there's a, a future there and I think for people who are not ready to completely sell out or who are not open to just have other people involved in their music and art that that's, must be the only way uh, and hopefully uh, there's going to be kind of a rite of passage for all independent musicians uh, and indie artists to be able to have a bigger platform to just ex you know express their, their craft and their songs and get paid for it which is important. Alright, okay. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Cool. Cheers. Speak soon.